So we are going to have to fix our frost-free hydrant. It wasn't very secure in position and it was being used this weekend and I guess it snapped off at the bottom. I guess that's what you get for using plastic fittings. So this time we'll go back with some brass, but honestly, I didn't know anything about them. So I watched a couple of videos on how to do it. And that's what they recommended. And I think that that will work a lot better. So now we got to dig this all up again. This just happened a few months ago as well. Uh, and we fixed it and I thought that we wouldn't have a problem again, but here we are. So I'm gonna make for sure it gets fixed right this time because I don't like digging in rock. This one's way longer, so I need to speak to a professional is what I need. I need a professional. I should do it, okay. Step on tape it, do that. So should I put I it? I mean, you take a, a, a ranch or dollars or something and give it a little bit more. Okay. Should but, I put uh, it in the, the frost-free deal and then screw it on? All right, now we're gonna to try to fix this frost-free hydrant. I'm sure what I'm doing is not 100% correct, but it definitely will work. Uh, last time we ended up, I ended up using a plastic nipple here to go from this to the PVC. I don't know why I did that. It ended up breaking, but we're still, we got a brass nipple now, but we're still going into some PVC here. It's gonna be threaded in, so it's still gonna be a weak point. Um, so what we have here, being that we live up on a hill, we went with two inch water line to get up here because we're going uphill. We didn't have a whole lot of pressure down there either. So we wanted a lot of volume of water coming up here. So I had to reduce that to this three quarter inch here. So the first time that it was put in, it had a little arm PVC arm that would swivel back and forth. So if you hit it, it didn't break it. It fell over, but somehow it ended up breaking anyway. Um, so then we went and what I did was I went from the two inch and then now I've elbowed it up with a cap that threads this three quarter inch uh, nipple into. So I've got it turned up now instead of shooting into the line directly like this. This probably still isn't the correct way of doing it. I'm gonna try it again like this, and if it breaks again, I guess I'm gonna hire a plumber or something to come fix it, fix it right. Like I said, we went to brass this time, so I'm hoping, and I'm gonna secure it better, and I might end up using some concrete too. It's just I'm scared that if I do have to get back into it, that busting concrete and stuff's gonna be a joke. I've also, I watched a YouTube video, and like I said, this isn't the way people do it. They use either pecs or some other stuff and some fittings with hose clamps and all this stuff. I mean, there's several different ways you can do it. But we're going to try this and hope it works. So let's get this. I've already put the nipple into here. So I'm going to try to screw it in here. And this is another thing I was scared of was getting too, getting it too tight that I stripped that out down there. Because uh, it moves a little bit. Alright, it's screwing, it's screwing in. So 
maybe what I'll do is snug it like that. And I'll get this <coughs> wrench so I can get more feel instead of twisting up here. I can get a little bit more feel by coming down here and how tight it really is. So I'll do this. That way, hopefully, I don't strip it out because if I do, then I'm going to have to cut, dig even more, cut all this out, and totally redo it. Actually, I can lift that up and go over it. Okay. So, another thing that I had seen that I didn't know about <laughs> was that you're supposed to put gravel around the base of this. So the frost free, when the water comes back down, it shoots back down here and weeps into the ground. And having gravel here will help dissipate that from the, the actual faucet. So I seen him, one guy got a five gallon bucket and put it over here, filled it with gravel, and then put dirt on top of that and everything, which I don't have room for that now. So this right here and here is a water shutoff valve that we put, which I recommend doing. So if you ever do have a problem at your faucet, you don't have to turn the water off to your whole house and just turn it off right here by it, which we'll go to that next. It's kind of a pain in the butt too, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So what I have is actually this is some of that corrugated or whatever you call it pipe that we used there to, to leave that open to get to that. So I'm going to take a piece of this and put it over here. I'm going to cut it down and then I'm going to fill this with gravel there. And then that'll give me my gravel. That'll work because that'll work, then it can leak in here and leak down the ground. I don't know, you think that's a good idea or should I just put gravel around there? Because when I put it inside here, it won't let it leak out the sides. It all has to go out the bottom. You get what I'm saying? Instead of dissipating like this. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Not out here turning it off and on, off and on all day, every day. So it's just on for a little bit and then shut off. So I think we're going to do this. putting gravel around there because it weeps out right here so actually I'm gonna do it just like that that'll be perfect um, okay I'm gonna dry this off down here and then I'm gonna turn the water on make sure we don't have any leaks before of course we fill it back in Okay, what I was saying about that, that shutoff valve, and you wouldn't know this unless you uh, have experienced it, and surely they probably make a tool to shut that particular valve off. I don't know, I haven't investigated it yet to find out. <laughs> That's an irrigation type valve, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so getting down in there, it's pretty hard to turn so you, you can't really get leverage because your arm's straight so you have to kind of do this so you can't use your elbow and, whew, and use your strength to turn it off and on so i had to use a couple pieces of pipe on each side and use the ground to get it shut off it was a pain in the the hiney so for right now i took a piece of pvc <laughs> notched it out that'll fit over it now drill the hole in it got a screwdriver here <laughs> so this until i see if there's actually something to sh turn it on and off with. I'm gonna see if this will work. This will be so nice. So it just fits over the top of that, just like that. And then let's see if I can. Oh, oh yeah, yay! And yeah, we got a leak, I love it. And it's leaking. Oh. Hmm.
Oh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Water's coming out now. Is it? Oh, were you shaking that? Yeah, okay. I was making sure. Yeah. What are, just when you shake it, water's now uh -huh. coming out over here on this side. I thought that's what you're saying. Is you see what I'm seeing? I thought maybe the pressure uh, was. I see where it's coming out too. The bottom now, like it felt kind of funny, like almost went too far. So I, I'm afraid to take it apart. Kind of maybe I could do this. Maybe I could hold. Yep, it's the top piece now, certainly. Hey, that's good enough for the girls I go with. Look at that. Oh, oh the water was on this whole time? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so I brought T-Post. Should we try to run it down in there? That's a solid rock right there on All your side. All we can do is try. So that, that water line goes just like this. So. I'd have to put it to right here. Yeah, but if I do that and it don't go all the way down, we're gonna have an issue with it hitting this. I think we're on a rock. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I really hate to concrete this in case it happens again, but it could keep it from happening again. They say the only thing that really ever goes bad on these is this mechanism here, I guess, and that's when you have to change them from the videos I watched. Um, but this is the second time we've had a repair right, and replace this. I know. So. But see, I'll have to, what I may do is do that concrete box right here. But I hate to. It'll be a two by four away from this because I'll build it out of either six by six, probably because that's all I got. Or we might have a two by four in there, build it, and then do concrete. Six inches on each side or like one by one doesn't matter to me whatever's easier and safe safer for that to stay tight you know we'll go that way that way do we want it that big Buck fight going on over here. The funny part is they're fighting over this one pumpkin. And as you see, there's a pumpkin there and there. I think there's one over there. There's one over there. Everybody's got tons of 
pumpkins, but it's got to fight over one. Let that just kind of recess a little bit, yeah. not much. I like it.